WAP, W-A-P, you know, wet ass pussy from Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. And that's the song that's gone crazy. That's what this video is about. It's the controversy. It's what's going on. So I had, it's a reaction. So we're here to celebrate wet ass pussy. That's right. <laughs> we're going to talk to Cardi B about some wet ass pussy. Yes. Yo, yo, yes. get that guap, get that guap. When you get that, get that, get that guap. Make that put it, put it, pop. Next day, the two video. It's about to drop. I love chicken pop pie. Let's go. One, two, three, and two to four. It's Uncle Nate, I got content galore. I never shut it up, in case you never heard of me. And now you're gonna learn a little bit of history. I got the gram a lot and a podcast too. And you're now watching me on Nate TV on Nate too. So dip, dip, dive, sub, subscribe, and let's get on with the show. There's no rhyme to that. Get on with the show. Yo, what's up? <clears throat> ah. ah, the sun is in my eyes, so I gotta film this way. All right, what up? It's and da da da. I am high, he's so high. Figured if I angle it this way, the sun won't get in my eyes. He's still playing well. Hey yo, I'm making a special edit video. So you know I made Sunday Nate Show, and on Sunday Nate Show, I played and I put in uh, Sunday Show number seven, the last one. I'm making a video, and in it, I put in WAP, you know, wet ass pussy from Cardi B and Megan, Megan Thee Stallion, and that's the song that's gone crazy. That's what this video is about. It's the controversy, it's what's going on. So I had, it's a reaction. So me, pause, the multiverse. In case they didn't know, uh, so you make decisions, really, really smart decisions when you're out. And the decision I've made, and this is now an official Nate TV episode. Yes! Yes! This is an ATV episode. What the fuck? I don't know what the fuck episode it is. I told you I'm high. So how many did I do? What was the last one? I think the third one was Kevin. I think as the radio one. And then the fourth one was the drunk one. Oh, yeah, I'm getting some high and the fifth one. I'm fucking high and all of them. Whoa! Real, real, real reaction after, right after the song was heard was in that video that I haven't posted yet, but I'm kneeling that snippet. Like it was like three o'clock in the morning when I finished putting it in the mix and first time I ever heard the song, my reaction. And then I watched the video like right after. So uh, that reaction is coming up, but that was at three o'clock. So I'm pulling that from my Sunday Nature vlog mix, putting that especially in here. And then I'm also gonna rock this. I, I don't understand. Somebody's fucking playing basketball when I'm trying to do a goddamn YouTube video. What the f Yeah, motherfucker. Anyway, so that uh, that video, that, uh, the, uh, <laughs> these motherfuckers mess me up. I don't know what the fuck is controversy. That song is amazing. It's dope. I don't know, the beat is insane. Like how the fuck you not like that beat? The sample is insane, right? And and the, the, the lyrics, the way she wrote it's about sex. What the fuck, you stupid? It's about Cardi B and Megan. Yeah, it's, of course, it's about sex. But it's actually it's dope. Who cares? Who cares? It's about getting money and they're getting their way. I don't like the the uh, the don't go cook no clean. You hear it in the mix, I booed it. Right? But yo, know, the shit is funny. It's Cardi B. What the fuck? You think you were listening to comments? What the fuck? What's wrong with you guys? Alright? It's a funny ass song, but listen, she's lyrically as dope as comments. about bottom feeder because um, that's in the video. but um yeah so anyways uh you'll hear my fucking nice thing that i like the song so you'll hear how much and what i like before but uh also 
because this video also is going to have uh, Charlemagne, uh, his, his, his thoughts, because the only people I care about when it's like, like radio people is the uh, High 97, uh, the, more, the two more shows, so High 97 and Power, so Charlemagne, Screw, and Ebro, and from those places so in this video we will have uh, Charlemagne's thoughts and reactions on WAP, Envy and uh, Yee as well as this is the Hot 97 uh, interview with Cardi before they even heard the song or saw the video right so like they might have heard the song but they didn't see the video yeah so it, it's her talking about the song and how she got Megan Whole bunch of shit, ill shit. You did it, Cardi. <laughs> How did you and Megan link up for this record, and why is it titled "Wet Ass Pussy"? Why did you go so so vulgar out the gate? Um. Yeah. All right. So you do you you remember, of course, when we did the Apple? Um... Yeah. Yep. So yeah, right after we did the Apple joint, the world shut down. Went straight COVID, Cardi. That was literally on March thirteenth. 12th or 13th okay. by the 16th the world shut down mm. okay. so Cardi, you've been had this record already you already had worked on it with megan tell us about those conversations like you know how you guys came together and you guys working on the project well you know i've been had this record for a long time i actually wanted like this record to always be like a record more than just two females like i wanted it to be like four or five females but like when I hear like the song, it just like it, it got like such a, a tone to it that it got such a tone and such a speed and it's it's kind of short and I was like it's not gonna work with like other females like I wanted it to but I always wanted Megan like on the record because even though like the song of course is like a, a it's a Baltimore sample but I feel like for some reason even though it's a Baltimore sample it just it just always gives me down south vibes and like the song is really nasty the song always been nasty like my verses and the hook has been the same since before megan was there so it just always been a nasty song and it's like who who's who say more nastier things than megan like you know what i'm saying who says the most <laughs> ever like this is like megan but like you know like i was I was always shy, like, to reach out to her. I'm really shy to just reach out to people, especially when it comes to females. Why? And like everybody would be rejoicing. You know, it just be Jesus because, um, like, my my stylist and her stylist, they linked up, they, they, they hung out. And um, then my stylist told me, like, because, like, you know, I was talking to a stylist, and it's like, yo, y'all need a... I need to link up. Like, we gonna make it happen. We don't give a fuck. We gonna make it happen. And I was like, all right, y'all. Like, okay. And then we did link up and it was, I had a good time. We had some funny ass conversations. We got sleepy and we had to go home. And it was just such a good vibe. So, so y'all was able to hang out together because both of y'all are in LA or y'all was just on the yeah, FaceTime? Oh, got it. And okay. No, in LA. Yeah, we both in LA and everything. And after that, like a couple of days later, like we just started sending tracks to each other. Like it's like, well, girl, I got a song. I've been had a song. Like, and she just as soon as she heard the song, she loved it. She hopped on it. Once she hopped on it, I'm like, oh shit, my brain started bursting with ideas for visuals and music videos and the, everything. I was like, oh my god, this shit is so fire. She killed the first matter of fact. When I heard the song, I only thought she put one verse, cause I didn't, I didn't even know she put a verse like almost at the end of it. And then when I heard it, I'm like, oh my, she put two verses, they both so fire. <laughs> it was just too fire. Um, Cardi, this music video with you and Megan, let's get back to talking about wet ass pussy. Sorry? You, oh, you, yes, the, the song. <laughs> God, the song, the song. The song. Now, I don't know if that's what we're gonna see in the video. What is Everybody this, what, calm what's down. happening in this video? What's happening in this video? Who's showing what? Who we seeing? Who's busting it open? Who's dropping it down? Lay it out. I feel like the video is sexy, but it's it's not like nasty. It's not raunch, raunchy. It's, it's not raunchy. No, first of all, we couldn't even do it raunchy because let me tell you something. Like my two music videos, my last two music videos, they like um 
like PG, you like literally have to sign on like on YouTube to see it. Like, um, oh, because uh, you press, gotta have a parental advisory. Mm-hmm, money, and it's like I could, I, I, I was just sick of that. My fans were getting sick of that and everything. So I'm like, you know what? Let me keep keep it PG-13. Even the song is not the nasty version on the on the video. So when the video drop, it's not gonna play the the actual, you know. The dirty version. The song is gonna play the PG-13 because it's so nasty. Wait, you YouTube, can't say wet ass pussy? I don't know. YouTube supposedly has some concerns, and I was like, oh, all right, whatever. We're just gonna go with. Uh, I really hate saying this word. What? Gushy. Wet ass gushy? <laughs> nah, I you gotta say to pussy. <laughs> we said, I mean, I like gushy. Let's talk about it. No, they're making you say, that's the radio edit though, is gushy? Yes. <laughs> I really want to say it. <laughs> it was really hard for me to try to clean this song up. Like, I was like, like, not from the top, make it drop, bounce that big old booty. But it was just, I'm like, you know what? I can't. Let me just do wet and gushy, and that's it. Wet and that, gushy. That wet and gushy. Let me just say gushy. So who's in the video? Are there some uh, celebrity appearances? Or is that yeah. a secret? Because I heard a rumor Kylie was in the video. You're going to have to watch the video to find out. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> you got me. You got me. It was really cute. It was fun. We did some choreography to it. You know what I'm saying? That was funny. Doing choreography was funny because that's not my thing. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, what choreography is not your thing? You just like going off the top, just doing you. Uh, well, when I perform, I just shake my ass. You know what I'm saying? But choreography <laughs> is like. Everything is on time, so I was like, Megan, take me slow, Megan. <laughs> okay, okay. Pause. All right. Now, this video, this this interview is ill, right? Uh, Cardi's ill. But you know my nerdy ass man, my nerdy ass flexing boy, <laughs> Rosenberg. Fucking, he's wearing a Hitman shirt. <laughs> You know that motherfucker had to drop a recipe shit. And then Cardi B is gone. <laughs> this dude just saw the inkling of Cardi liking wrestling and then bust out a question and she gave him a gold answer. Here, here's Cardi B and Rosenberg talking about <laughs> wrestling. The- what? A p- personal uh, question for you, Cardi. I saw you randomly, like, I don't know, a few months ago, tweet something about... I think it was about Steve Austin or Eddie Guerrero and like I'm a huge wrestling fan and I, you kind of implied that you watched it when you were a kid so I'm just curious when you watched and who your people were uh, um, I used to like Undertaker every single time that I was so, you I was so young that I really thought that he was coming from the dead I used to love Eddie Guerrero after he died I really kind of stopped watching Eddie Guerrero like I mean I stopped watching wrestling uh, I used to like Edge and Lita like you know like they were like the bad couple and everything. I really used to like them a lot. And um, I like Rey Mysterio, but like, I was, then I kind of like the Eddie Guerrero. I was just be like, um. Well, they had they had a feud against each other too, over over the yeah, child, they had over like Dominic. Against each other. I used to think Batista was like so gorgeous. Oh my God, I used to love Booker T. I used to love a lot of them. Wow, that's awesome. I didn't know you were so in, let's go. Oh, you hear the remix? I still love you. Vibes, the dance hall remix. Certified free. Seven days a week. motherfuckers. Wet ass pussy. Make that pull out game weak. Check that shit out. Listen. Come in now your mouth. Brainwash, brainwash, brainwash. Fuck your heart and shut your ears as loud like we have seen Las Vegas. Dig out your belly, ram that like free fi come in. Ya bad gal shell it, I'll shape up your boom boom. Hey gal, tap in ice, go some more. Suck the tip, suck the tip, suck the tip. Lick the balls, lick the balls, lick the balls. No brata, no matter what, no data. Spread out panda pool, I'll jam me stamp it like a postman. Stop and paint your face with Sherwin Williams. Head girl with brilliance, head girl with millions. Head girl with brilliance, head girl with millions. Yeah, you fucking with some wet ass pussy. Ah. Fuck it, and I'm not with this wet ass pussy. Back to the review. 
got for this wet ass pussy. For that wet ass. Banana. Let's go. Start off with you, Yee. What were your thoughts of the song? Um, I like it. You know, I like the sample. There's some hoes in this house. I like that the video had all of uh, the different women and this business in it. I know a lot of people were going in on Kylie Jenner and wanting to take her out of the video. And Cardi explained why she had Kylie Jenner in the video in the first place. But as a person who feels like you shouldn't be shamed for discussing sex, if you want to, if you want to listen to it, the conversation, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But I think for women and black women in particular, we've been taught to be ashamed of our bodies and ashamed of our sexuality for so long that it's nice to see women always taking control of our own narrative about our bodies. Charlamagne? Um, I'm 42 years old. I've been doing radio for 22 years and listening to hip hop my whole life. Uh, WAP is just entertainment. It's not the end of the world at all. Okay, there's always been songs with sex driven lyrics from men and women. And, you know, by the way, this whole country, this whole society has been like that from TV to film to music to literature. Sex sells, always has, always will. And out of all the things people complain about in regards to media, Sex is literally the most natural thing that you could hear about. Like when you talk about, you know, film and TV and movies and the, and the negative images that may be depicted in them, drug use, drug selling, murder, robbery, violence, none of that is natural. OK, all of that is like OD to me to constantly be shoving down folks faces. But sex is something that every single person on this planet enjoys. So I'm not about to sit around and complain and come up with think pieces with no thought about the impact of a song like WAP, okay? I'm not about to do right. that. I'm not about to sit around and talk about how, how WAP has a negative influence on kids. Uh, yes, but you know what influences kids more than music? Nature. Biology. Okay, humans get horny. Humans will have sex. All right? if that's, that's how they got here. Your kids away from, <laughs> if that's what you're trying to shield your kids away from, good luck, and I don't even believe in luck. Yeah, I agree with you. I, don't, I, I didn't see nothing wrong with the song. That's the, those two women expressing themselves, and we've seen it time and time and time again. And for everybody saying they want to ban those songs or they're not talking about those songs or they hate those songs, have you guys really listened to the artists that you guys love and some of the lines that they said? Come on, man. You know, let, let's, let's be honest. Have you really listened to some of the records that we grew up on or some of the records that we listen to now? You but know what it is? A lot. You know that? what it is? People don't, people don't like, they don't necessarily like Cardi. And if you don't necessarily like Cardi, or if you don't necessarily like Megan, you know, the things that you may accept from someone else, you will use that same thing to criticize this person that you already don't like. Right. Okay, look. Let me tell you something. The reason why I even knew about this song, because I follow Cardi, right? So I, I follow her, and she had, she had a, I, I just noticed her signing a whole bunch of pink vinyl, and I'm, I'm a vinyl head. Everybody knows I'm a hip hop guy, so I'm a real vinyl head. So I saw her signing. I didn't even know what the fuck. I just like, uh, I, I saw her signing a bunch of records. I didn't know what it was, so I clicked on it. And basically she said she's signing limited edition vinyl. I didn't even hear the song. I didn't even know what fuck. I didn't give a fuck what the song was. Cardi B was signing a limited edition vinyl records. I wanted it. I could buy it. I just saw it. Then I saw there was a motherfucking purple one. It was a purple one, you know, only built for Cuban Link. It was like right at almost the anniversary of uh, uh, like 25th of that album. And here, this stupid hip hop head, you want to know? You don't fucking know. That's why I got it. I'm a real hip hop head and I bought wet ass for the vinyl because it's fucking dope. But I'm a real hip hop head and it's signed by motherfucking Cardi B. All right, it's limited edition. You guys, stupid. I'm a collector too. That's why I get that shit. I'm a turntable, motherfucker. I'm a, I'm a record collector too. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Dun -dun -dun -dun. We're an achievement for a nerd award for being a vinyl head. Anyways, so I bought that shit. I, I bought it. It's only 10 bucks. Shipping cost me 15 bucks. Alright, so, so I don't know when the hell, the hell is this shit it arrives. But it arrives, and uh, I also got the digital data one too. But I hope there's uh, the instrumentals on the back. Because that, that fucking music. Oh. Turn it up. Oh. Ugh. Mmm. And I really, oh. <sighs> I'm gonna go listen to that song too. Um, now, the. What the fuck was that time? I'm so fucking high. <laughs> And 
the reason why I chose that one is not just the purple because the purple was dope, but on the front cover uh, had Megan and Cardi on the beach sticking out with a big body sticking out, reminded me of Two Live Crew. So I said, I gotta fucking get that shit, you know. I had to get it. I get a nice glossy cover of Megan and Cardi B's nice beautiful bodies. I had to. And then you know you can do notes when you send them to buy shit. I told Cardi B. <laughs> I know the reason why I bought it is because it was a great quad out. It was purple and I see their big beautiful bodies. <laughs> then I told them to give me a shout out and some shit for an ATV and and for nature. Let's see if she'll do that. I fucking doubt it, but let's see. I love that song, Cardi. Give me a shout out. <laughs> you know, show me out. Uh, at Native Tube or at Native Tube for the Nate Show on my podcast that nobody listens to but me. <laughs> All right. Wop, wop, wop. I think I just interrupted myself, so go back. And, uh, this part is not going to be on the, the mix on the cast box. This part is exclusive for Native Tube. Um, another. Our mix, another sign of nature mix. You can find more of them on the NWO radio playlist on the Native Tube channel. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I gotta go. Oh, you know why I got that, Cardi? I got the limited edition signed. Cardi, the purple album. I ordered it. And I don't know when that was coming, but oh, it's the purple one and then big. Yeah. I put in the notes. I put in the notes. I like. I hope Cardi <laughs> the her her Megan Thee Stallion's big beautiful bodies is what gravity gravitated. <laughs> Next episode, hopefully, we'll be in Maybe. Don't look at the rest. 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 Whoa! I was going to be a copyright. I'm, one day I'm going to do a fucking copyright edition. One day. It's going to be insane. And if you guys want to link me up on some copyright YouTube people, you have copyright stories, especially about music and shit, send me your stories. I'll put you in the fucking show. Rappers and shit. In the show. You know what? Since this is now officially an ATV episode, and it is about hip hop, uh, I'm gonna throw my man Von King freestyle. It's insane. You gotta feel this. I'm gonna throw his freestyle right the fuck in my WAP review. You know why? Because I can. This is my show. And I'm high. So let's go. Von King. In the middle of the walk to to video. Walking around standing is probably horrible. Dude, I'm sorry if I had fucking be stupid interviewing your food stuff. That's just fire anyway. Fucking everybody go just, just listen. I got it. And then go follow him. His uh his his Instagram is Von King Official. Okay, there we go. And now his YouTube is sponsored. He's rapping. I, I was inspired by him. That's why I did that. The rap verse, by the way. He's the guy I was talking about. So now you can hear him. Dude, how come all your raps are, you don't have no, no shirt on? Is this the new thing? I don't know about you kids. You can wear dope shirts like this. <laughs> Alright, bye. Well, oh, listen. I mean, not bye. Listen. Vaughn. And then back to what? Talk about what? Time for that. I told you about what? Oh, I'm telling you. Look, you got no choice but to fulfill this. Hey, what is you saying, my nigga? I'm just not the person to deal with. I cannot tend to your needs. <laughs> that is obscene. <laughs> the people they all in the comments. Don't give a fuck about your trends. While begging and pleading, it's easy to see that it's dropping on your end. Endorsements. Nigga, you want an endorsement. You think you get a pass like that? You think I'ma let you act like that? You should really go, man. You just got me mad. Got me taking off my mask like that. Ah, Corona gon' get me. Let me 
gonna put my mask back on. By the way, Vaughn King on the road, y'all niggas should really go and blast that song. Nigga, word. So, wow, can like, <clears throat> click like, subscribe, give them a motherfucking thumbs up, follow me, and comment and tell me your reaction to WAP, wet ass pussy, and the stupid ass reasons for saying wet and gushy and <laughs> and what y'all think about the controversy why y'all think about the song and what y'all think about my shirt chicken pot pie shirt check more shirts like that at not just funk i mean whoop that's my to toy place you can go my toy place for not just funko but nate's caps and tees is the ig spot and you know natitude regular ig hip-hop wrestling sports shit all right comment like and subscribe here it's natitude for more reaction videos and commentary and stuff. Alright? Pumbala pala palero. Pumbala pala palero.